Hello everyone, it's Maseko here again. Uh, today I'll be showing the video I've been promising everyone, hopefully some of you out there are actually excited. <laughs> I'll be showing all of my homemade Ocremas that I've made so far today. So, I'll try not to ramble too much in this one, not take too long. This is my first Ocrema I've ever made. When I made it, I'm surprised that it even made any kind of a sound. But it hasn't even been fired because when I was working on it, I made the main shape, uh, you know, hollowed it out, put it back together, cut the hole for the thimble, and then had to leave. So it's gone for like four or five hours or something like that. But when I got home and I attached the mouthpiece, it had already dried out too much for the coil to really adhere to it. So after it dried out, the uh, mouthpiece all around it broke off and the mouthpiece just came right on. And one day, my mother-in-law was over and she tried fitting it back in when I wasn't around, put it in and actually the entire top just busted right off. She said she just put it in and it came off, so I'm guessing there was more problems than I thought. Either way, being made back in February, never being fired, and being glued together, all I did was slap on a little bit of paint and it still makes somewhat sound, which I think is pretty cool. Not a whole lot of noise, but at least it still does something. So I'll keep this as a momentum for my first. Okay. Ocarina number two. There's not a whole lot that can be said about this one, other than, uh, as you already know, if you've seen the other video, it's out of tune, as far as I can tell. I don't know how to play a pendant or a five hole ocarina, so it's hard for me to really know. But, uh,. It had a decent tune to it, and it sounded alright. If it was in tune, it'd be much better, I'm sure. Also, on top of that, the paint that I used on this, the clear coat, sucks. It's, uh, it never dried properly, so it's a little bit sticky, and it's a little bit soft, so if I take my fingernail, I can make a gouge in it, like, just slightly press it, it'll gouge it. Or if I put it down on some kind of painted surface, it'll most likely rip the paint off when I lift it up, because it'll stick right through it. No, it's super sticky to the touch, but if it sits on something, it'll start to adhere. So, this is a little sample of the sound. So, there you go. Well, that's just me guessing that and figuring that out. I'm sure that's not the proper way to play it. Ocarina number two. Ocarina number three. Now this guy, I think it worked out great looking. Unfortunately, it's out of tune again. Uh, I don't know how to play this either. It's a four hole. Uh, and it's got a super high pitch, but to the look at it, it's uh, great. It's nice, smooth paint. Clear. Oh, it just looks great. <laughs> uh, it's got a super high pitch, and I wish I knew how to play it, or I wish it was tuned properly, but I, I know it's not tuned properly. I mean, so. <laughs> I can't play anything on it, so I'll just play some random notes for you to hear what it sounds like. Nothing else you can really say about that guy other than it looks cool. Number three. Ocarina number four. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this one was a complete failure, at least I thought it was. Turns out, after I got it back from firing, only the first three holes worked, so it was pretty bad. But after working with it, which was a pain after it's fired, so make sure you've done everything before you fire it. Uh, I worked on it and I got more of the sound working. As it was a tester anyways, I wasn't too worried about it. I tested it as I put 8 holes compared to the previous couple which only had 4 or 5 holes. So I wasn't too worried about that not working. Secondly, there was a paint tester as well. Pewter is just a standard paint, but I put glow in the dark paint in the holes. All the fingering holes, the mouthpiece, the fiffle, and even in my name engraved. And that worked out pretty good, so in the dark, I've got myself a cool looking ocarina glowing in the dark. Secondly, I tried a new clear coat spray. I gave that a go and that also worked great. So after having those all work, I don't care if this one doesn't work perfectly or not, or sound, it still looks pretty good and it helped out a lot. Number four.
Ocarina number five. This one I made for a friend of mine, and he's left-handed, so lefty ocarina. <laughs> I don't believe I've seen another one of these on YouTube yet, but it's original, and it looks awesome. It's probably one of my favorites. I just love the look of it. It's got a nice, sharp shape to it. Uh, it's just it's all around great ocarina. It has a beautiful sound, looks cool, and it feels cool, too. It's a textured paint, clear coated with nail polish. So it's super durable, like I can hit it against something it won't do a single mark, so. Not a whole lot else I can say about it other than it's left-handed and it's hard for me to play anything on it because of that fact, but I'll give it a try so you can hear what it sounds like. So, there you go, that's what that one sounds like. Ocarina number five. Now that I finally done the video too, I can give it to him. Ocarina number six. It's this big guy. It's big, it's heavy, and it sounds cool. Not a whole lot I can say about this other than I went with the uh, the blue to try and match the Ocarina of Time color. Just because it's probably the closest I've got to looking like it my name pretty big and bold on the back so I know it's mine. Stay cool! <laughs> this one was made 04 of 09. And uh, I filled it in with a nice gold color too. I finally got a neck strap on it. Stupid though because it's you know the biggest and heaviest one I've made. Uh, because it's so big and heavy I plan on getting a better neck strap than this. I'll hopefully even get my wife to make me one where it's uh, a thick leather strap across the back of the neck so it supports the weight a little bit better. So, other than that, not a whole lot I can say about it, so I'll just give you a little sound sample. Six Ocarina. That's how it sounds. And yeah, there you go. Not else I can say. Ocarina number six. And the last of the bunch, and the least, the air drying clay number seven. This one was a pretty big failure just because of the clay I'm hoping. It was really cheap stuff. I would say myself, I hate air drying clay, it sucks, and I'll never use it again, but Ocarina Tycoon, check him out, he says that he uses air drying clay, and it works great for him, he uses it for speed, and he says he can put out one every hour or so, so that's pretty amazing, that blows me away, that's actually astounding, <laughs> it takes me a lot longer, I spent hours on this one, this clay was from the dollar store, it's cheap, it was soft, it was hard to work with, it did not maintain any shade, and I had to fight with it the whole way through. But so this is the shape I got. It turned out actually not that bad, but just with so much effort, if I used regular clay, it would have been an amazing ocarina. So it got a little bit of a curved shape to it, a really stubby mouthpiece, and it cracked everywhere. <laughs> well, it has a big crack there, crack there, and it had a huge crack all the way from the mouthpiece around the back to the name. So, that was all the way through, that ruined the sound, it did not produce any sound after that crack happened. But it's air drying clay, so it can be wet and reused. So I just licked my thumb and went over that crack a whole bunch, and that was at least enough to make it make some kind of a sound. So, at least I proved that it made somewhat a sound. <laughs> Alright, take it easy guys, thanks for taking a look.